can. Yeah, right. It's been so long since I played. I don't even remember that. There was this one. It was a section you had to go. All I remember is lots of, lots of green hills and lots of dragon kin, and then there was like the really slender ones, and there was like the really beefy ones. That's all I remember. Oh, and the wargans. Oh, okay. So two formed version. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So you're were dragons? Or is one of your forms like flight? Because if I could get my flight back on Azeroth without having to do a ton of stuff. I buy every expansion anyways. I just don't ever play them. I buy them because I need them for WoW Model Viewer. And I just write it off. But, um, but yeah, I haven't played it in a while. Pretty much a were dragon. Interesting. So that's what it's going to do when we hit it with the light. So it's pink and purple E. And the purple glows, but the pink like really glows. Hey, giraffe making four months. Boom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Four months. There you go. I'll straighten out the camera there. Been whomping it all around, so. Uh, it's really funny, the phosphorus, when it phosphors, the pink actually looks orange. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah. Hmm. Not a big lore person either, I just like to explore. That's me too. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so... I'm gonna take a. I don't still have half a cup of coffee. I'm gonna take a short. I'm just gonna take a, a drinking coffee break here for a second while I let the paint kind of cure a little bit, and then we'll. Uh, hmm. I could try and add. No, let's not do that. Let's. Uh, I haven't played WoW in years. The touch bar isn't conducive to playing. Correct. You need one of those external ones that you can, one of those like grippy, uh, right, I figured that's what you meant, but what you need is one of those mouse, mice that is like all buttons and function, whatever, and just program a shite ton of macros. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to probably go grab some more coffee since I can chug this real quickly and then uh, use the restroom and then we'll come back and we'll start sculpting Ori. How does that sound? Does that sound, sound, sound good? That sounds good. Of course it sounds good, Paul. I don't know. Mm, I could sculpt Ori out of the glowy clay, but then she'd glow green. The butchering of the lore killed your interest in WoW? Oh no. Skewers. Mr. Round the gender roles. Die my eye and call me pretty. You like how this is turning out. Okay, bring back Warcraft 2. I did buy vanilla, thinking, ooh, I'm gonna go relive the glory days. Good old vanilla days. And uh Yeah. I tried. I tried for a while, but then I remember, oh yeah, it's uh, run over there, Greg grab me four apples, and then run all the way back. Okay, now right where you were at, over there where the apples were, I need you to pick up the apple sticks. I'm like, well, why didn't you just tell me to get apples and apple sticks at the same time? Well, because I didn't know if you'd find the apples. The walking. It's the walking. Ugh. <laughs> and that was when it was like you had to be level 40 before you could even get a mount, and the mount was only like 20% faster. You're like, ugh, ugh. It's 40% faster, I think.
All right, let me go grab some coffee. Let me go uh, take a short, just a short break. Everybody do a little bit of stretch. Um, yeah, I want each one of you, I got 50 people here. I want five of you, just five of you, talk amongst yourself. Five, five people to find one thing interesting that we can talk about. Just so we can keep the conversation. I'm happy to talk all you want. I just need conversation starters. So uh, five things, five, five of you, just five of you randomly, just find something cool to talk about. I'll be right back. Uh, you can run some ads. I don't have the ability. Oh, wait. Do I have the ability here? Do I, do I clip that 60 second ad? There you go. Like this. The ad failed to run because the channel recently ran a commercial and is on cooldown. I have seven minutes and 57 seconds laugh, left. <laughs> oh, you just did. Okay. All right. I'll be right back.
sorry about that, guys. Uh, my cleaning lady just showed up, and I had to uh, had chat with her a little bit. She's giving me crap because my vacuum sucks. Or actually, it doesn't. Um, all right. Da -da 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 -da. You think you would just let you run ads 24-7? Yeah, okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I agree. So many games are just too easy, not even combat, which is still interesting, but the rest are of the mechanics. Okay. Uh, then it plays an ad anyway. Oh, awesome. I want you to get me 10 kobold tails. Got mine. Goes mine, kills kobolds, no tails. Hmm. Kills second kobold, three tails. What? what? <laughs> right. Uh, that's like a medical convention asking if there's a doctor in the house. Right. Uh, I really should fix those drop rates. Uh, the second kobold was also there collecting tails. That's right. If only you had a solution for a bad vacuum, like no rugs. I have only one rug in the house, guys. Only one. Everything else is hardwood floors. And I'm like, and she's like, well, are you guys ever thinking about getting it back? Because she's retired, semi-retired now. She used to do a lot of corporate, uh, corporation cleaning and stuff like that. So she always carried a vacuum in her car. She's like, I'm just tired of carrying a vacuum and yours doesn't work. So I'm like, all right, I'll go buy a damn vacuum. Uh, we have one, we have one rug, um, but you know, whatever. So, and then I was explaining my boys being in the house and then I had to deal with the boys being in the house because one of them had an iPad pad plug, can't now find the iPad plug. I'm like, how do you, how do you lose an iPad plug? You literally just had it, kid. I don't know. <laughs> I have a Dyson. It died. Uh, that's the problem. So, um, it, it doesn't suck anymore. Get a Roomba. Yeah. So how many tails does one have to collect until it becomes an anthology? <laughs> hey, Bionic. Touche. What am I doing? All right. We're going to sculpt an Ori. That's right. I miss PBM games. There was something extremely satisfying about playing the week's moves then waiting with anticipation of the results come out. Oh. I don't know what. Soon it's a die son, that's right. But they aren't supposed to lose suction. Um yeah, until you burn the motor out and then uh and then they do. Um and that's the second one that I've killed, so um the first one I had for like fifteen years and it just died. Uh play by mail. Ah, gotcha. Okay. I do not know what that is. So um I've never done that. Uh, Spring Fox, are you still floating around? Can you find me a pose that you would like Ori to be in? Unless it's that one that you just showed me that where he's sitting there. He, she, it, whatever, they, they, they are sitting there. Uh, if you could find me a pose that you would like, we're going to put Ori right here in the box. So be about, it, it's not going to be very big. It's going to be about... that big okay it's it's because i want it scale wise i mean the, the ori is never any bigger than that but yeah if you could find me a, a pose that you really like then we'll just sculpt it right now and then we're going to paint it um i have this really cool white phosphorescent powder here okay and we're going to actually paint with this powder uh, this powder is powder is glow in the dark white, but it reacts to UV light, obviously, as you can see here. But it actually does glow. It glows white as opposed to there you go. You can see it, it glows white as opposed to blue or green or anything like that. So it's going to be more ori uh, color. And we're going to use uh, Stuart Simple's Super Base uh, as which dries clear. And so we're going to use the uh, white phosphorescent powder uh, with this as well. So. Um, that's the, the plan for Ori. So we're going to sculpt the little dude first here. So, um, and then we'll get into, I don't know if I have, I thought I bought a bunch of black light, light bulbs. Or did I only buy flicker bulbs? Flicker. Oh, I don't know if I bought the black light ones. Damn it. Paul. I, ha I have an array. I could buy a black light flashlight. We could do just that is just as easy. Just do a black light overlay. I wonder if I could do that. I have those. UV. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'll just use a. We'll just dismantle a flashlight. 
I'll go to the hardware store this weekend then. Or this afternoon. I gotta do shopping this afternoon anyways. But I told my kids I would take them to uh, lunch for being well behaved. <laughs> at two, at two. When, so when we're done streaming. one thirty, two 2 o'clock. Whenever we get to a point that I feel like that's it for today, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll bounce on it, so. Um, yeah. Well, that's interesting that she retired because we, because my wife and I, she, don't tell nobody, but my wife and I had been looking at a service. We we're like, well, because we know she's going to retire soon and we're like, oh, we could get a service to come in here and they'll do things above her head. And she's like, well, since you pay cash and it's under the table, I'll, I'll stick with you guys for a while. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so we shall see. Mm. They'd bring their own damn vacuum, you know. But we are going to use the uh, the cos clay here because it's going to have some flexibility. I don't have I have the gr glow in the dark green cos clay, but I don't typically buy colored clays because I don't like the way that they look. So. Um, as far as, because that, that's not the kind of stuff that I do. Since you're not going to be able to get these kind of blends of colors and stuff like that using a uh, solid colored clay. And that's not the kind of work that I do. So, All right, so I had five of you go out there and, uh, and find an interesting topic. So who's first up? First up, interesting topic, something you want to talk about. Step up to the plate. Okay, no one sells blue glow-in-the-dark clays, huh? Not clays, but they do sell blue, blue glow-in-the-dark uh, powders. I got some right here, boss. Wah! And so you can still use the, uh, and say so that glows really nicely under the, the black light, but so does the, you know, we have phosphorus blue on the paint jobs already, but yeah, you can actually get like really, really br nice bright blue. So... That's blue lit. But what's funny is like he sells this stuff as being like the the only place that you can get that. And I'm like, well, sure, but at United Nuclear you can get like 14 different colors. <laughs> um generally considered non-toxic, but high concentrations in the body may potentially affect biochemical processes. So there you go. That's not scary. So I should quit using a teaspoon of it in my coffee, right? Thank you for the image. I wonder what you'll get if you mix blue glow-in-the-dark with green glow-in-the-dark cosplay. You would get blue-green. You wouldn't want to mix the powder directly into the clay, though, because then you're going to create... Um, basically, you're going to br break... Uh, so don't a jar of it. Don't eat a jar of it. Correct. Uh, yeah. So you probably end up. Uh, yeah. No. Um, you'll break the ability for it to make polyamide chains. That's that's the what you would run into problem wise. So you don't you don't want to do that. All right. So let's. Uh, she sent me a pose. A little cartoon sleepy pose there. That's cute. The cat stole my tool. Time to make another one. I don't even know where the hell she took it to. So. One of these days I'll find a whole mess of them. Uh, ends up with clumps of powders like the one in bad pancake batter? No. What's going to do is... Um, hold on a second. There we go. Um, flour is not necessary, but it was the first one I found that would work to have him against the tree. Okay, cool. Um, if we feel it needs the, the, when we're done, if we feel that it needs the uh, flowers, we can add some flowers in. Or some fruit or something like that. Like he's, he's taking a siesta because he ate too much. Um, would be a waste of powder since you'd never see past the thin outer layer. Right, that too. But um, the way that the polyamide chains are formed, what would happen is the crystals that are in the powder would interfere with that. And so what you would do is you would get a really, it would solidify, 
but it would crumble over time because there's not you're you're uh, interfering with the ability for it to form polyamide chains, and that's what you that's what you need it to do. Would be a waste, correct? But we can we can apply it to the outside. I mean, if you want me to do a demo of it, the problem is, is the green glows so green that putting the blue on the outside, it's different wavelengths. You're still it's just going to end up being green. You would get a yellow, no, no. You would just get a a different uh, like a duller green is all you would get. Drives me crazy with long blonde hair. It's like that, just kind of like chillaxing. Yeah, and the tree is done. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, tree is done. Now we're sculpting a little ori to go in it. There are pink flowers. It's a, it's kind of like a mold moss kind of stuff that's on there. It's kind of growing to kind of give it a different pop of color. Pop of color. <clears throat> the dad of colors. There's the licking. Keep warning the kids about. Smaller shouldered. And still no one. Well, okay, Ark asked about that, so there's one person. We got a third a second person, pink mold. Stick with calling it moss. Moss, yes, moss. Mm. Like, we're not the streamer, Paul. You need to come up with topics of conversation. It's your job, monkey. Dance for us. All right, it's like expected time. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay, I tried with play by mail. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting ready to take a road trip with two kids, five and eight. Any tips? We'll be driving for 20 hours over two days. Atlas Obscura. Where, which, where, okay, so you're in Colorado, if I remember correctly, and you are traveling, I'm guessing if you're going 20 hours, you're going East Coast, right? Like adding that clay rehydrator thing or the liquid clear. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yes. Art, yeah. But if you add m more binder, oh, if you add more binder, can you mix powders into the clay? No, because it's the same thing. It's, um, <laughs> if you add, uh, go oh, you're going to Cali from Colorado. That's 20 hours. Okay. Uh, all right, so you're heading down that direction. Um, yeah, look at Atlas Obscura and see if there's interesting things on the way, like two places. Um, that's, what, that's, that's what I would do. Okay, so the problem with uh, going back to ARC, uh, 
and and otherwise I would just plan on uh, get like find two destinations along the trip in the two days, one place each day that is not the destination of where you're going, that is specifically kid oriented that your kids would enjoy. That's what Atlas Obscure is nice for, is that you can go in there, um, and that you can go and find like specific interests. And so find something that's kid interest and then hype the sh out of that is what I would do. Um, be like, today, kids, we're going to go to this place for you and then give them something to look forward to and then give them interesting things about it. And that usually is enough to keep them interested. Um, at least it did for my kids. Your kids and mileage may vary. All right. So the problem, no, it's, it's I'm trying to give you a good analogy for, um, okay, so it's just like you're saying with the pancake mix. If you add more water to the pancake mix, you can still put it in there. But then you go and you add peas to your pancake mix, okay? You can add as much water or pancake mix back into it, but you still have peas. Peas don't go in pancakes. And so no matter what you do to it, you still have the peas in there. And it's always gonna break apart around the peas. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's why you don't wanna use a powder inside of a polymer clay, because the polymer clay is PVC, and you're adding something that is not gonna bind with it, and so it's like putting peas in your pancakes. All right, that's a, <laughs> that's a decent analogy, right? Okay, how do I edge my entire lawn if I don't want to I want anything growing there? <coughs> what do I use? Peas, pancakes, and polymer clay. That's right. That's the do's and don'ts of life. Peas, pancakes. Never put peas in your pancakes. Um, let me see. Gravel? No, because you put gravel in there to grow right through it. Uh, rocks, same thing. Something else. What you need is you need edging. You need a... Yeah, you can poison, but that's not great. Use those edging boards that grew, that are too tall and made of plastic. The other thing you could do is you could put down... They make edging strips, which are made of... Uh, basically, they make them in different stock, uh, thicknesses so that nothing can grow through them, but then you'll have them... Um, you just don't want to edge anymore. Is that is that the problem? Because if you don't want to edge anymore, there is nothing you can do about it. It'll still just grow. But you can put up a barrier, like a physical barrier. It'll just take a while. But then you'll have to edge against next to the physical barrier. Yeah, there's nothing there. Longest road trip I ever I was ever part of was my family driving from Chicago to San Diego when I was in fifth grade. Stopped at hotels every night, and it took four days. Oof, I want less lawn. Hey, me too. Reddit's uh, subreddit uh, forward slash no lawns. Uh, if you want to go to no lawn route, yeah, gravel works really nice too. Um, you have an HOA, they may may disagree with you on that one, or just the astroturf that you've painted. There you go, concrete. Um, longest road trip I ever did was Omaha to uh, Orlando via car. And that was with my family. We did it twice. And I would not recommend. No recommend. Those plastic things are dangerous. If a car hits it and suddenly have lots of super sharp bits of plastic, often green, hiding in the grass, that equals lots of barefoot injuries. Ask me how I know. Oh. AstroTurf is always an option. Don't forget the pink flamingos and the garden gnomes to complete the set. We learned the other day on uh, the podcast Bananas that depending on the direction that your flamingos are facing, uh, it, it tells people you're swingers or not. <clears throat> oh, the recycled rubber that causes cancer in kids. That's, that's, that's some good stuff. They found out that track stars who run on tracks that have uh, the ground up tires on it uh, develop leukemia uh, more than, they basically traced that kids who were track people who ran on those tracks would develop le leukemia due to the heat of the sun uh, and the, the, the chemicals in it. You know, something else to worry about. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, you're welcome. That's why my kids aren't track stars. That's why. <laughs> to the HOA, I have no, I have a lawn. It's a foot by foot. It's still grass. It's mobile. And it's out front, but it's still a lawn. That's right. Apparently, Texas Hula has been proudly announcing his swinger status because of something like that. He had no idea that there was a code of how you hang your flag. Hung your flag? Really? That's interesting. Welcome to America. Either your kids will get shot in class or gym class will give them cancer. <clears throat> what was the what was the senator the other day? His his uh, solution for for kids in in school shootings is not gun control. It's ballistic blankets. Every kid should have a ballistic blanket. It's a, that's right, Alexa. Alexa. Alex, ugh, not Alex, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's right. If they're facing each other, you're swingers, yeah. I t I, so I don't want there to be any confusion at all, so I just have them mating. And then, you know. <laughs> that's right. And then they had another guy who was like, oh, just by the, by the way, the Second Amendment doesn't guarantee the right to anybody to have guns. It, that's not what it means at all. It, it allows for states to have individual, uh, basically, armies or militias to help control against outside forces. But it does not guarantee that every man, woman, and child is given a gun or can have a gun. That's not what it means. Bit a little swing for your flamingo. Nobody would confuse. That's right. <laughs> Regulated, well-regulated militias. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I knew I was missing a word in there. Because I knew as soon as I said militia, they're like, well, that's what I meant. Oh, militia time. It's like, no. If we just trained all of our teachers to be better shots. There's an entire fourth grade, which really hit home because my kid just graduated from fourth grade and I can't believe an 18 year old would break into a school, lock himself into one fourth grade class. The school only taught second through fourth grade. So he planned that school in particular and fourth graders and just, they said they were piles of bodies. I'm like, I can't, I can't even fucking imagine that. Like, Not that we need to have a huge gun. Because I know there's going to be people in here like, I need my guns. I need my AR-15s, 17s, 32s, whatever. For that time I go out and shoot cans. I don't you know. Polls who say that the teachers should be armed doesn't take into account that the teachers don't want yeah, no, I'm not going to ask my pizza guy to fix my car, my car mechanic to perform surgery on me, my kids' teachers are there to teach, not Wyatt Earp. <laughs> That's on you. Find a topic. <laughs> Give me a topic, any topic. We'll, we'll switch it up, promise. That's the problem is my, my, my mind has gone blank and my topic cards never arrived. <laughs> Vex says, no, no. <laughs> I will have the last word, damn it. Hey, uh, Ark, give me something else to talk about. I'd say, how about them Knicks? But I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's 
a sports thing, but that's about all I got. Ooh, what kind of phone did you get? The Bears. See, I don't know anything about the Bears either. Um, bears are nice. Uh, I, read a, I read a statistic that 8% of Americans think that they can take a bear out in, in, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dark chocolate mint? That's not bad. Um... I mean the ninety two that, that cannot take the take a bear by yeah, me neither. Uh, I wouldn't try. That's the thing. Can't we all just get along? Uh, no. Uh, I I'm a I'm a. There's this gummy worm that's out. This trolley gummy worm, and it's the. You can only find them occasionally. Instead of being all the flavors, it's just the berry flavors. And. Uh, Oh, they're dangerous. They're so dangerous. I, I'll snack on them like crazy. I do like me some Smarties too. You know, like the little chalk tablets. <laughs> they're delicious as well. You like the folding phone? I thought they wouldn't work with their shit. I'm hesitant about the the folding the fo the folding phones. So. Um. Obi-Wan starts tomorrow? Yep, yep. Obi-Wan starts tomorrow. I might watch that one. I don't know. It looks it looks okay, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. Like they say, I just have to be able to run faster than me. That's right. Um, not the flip, but the phone, and it works amazingly well. Uh, it shocks me every day how awesome. So it's the one that folds open, right? It opens like this, and it's and then a full screen doesn't have the seam in the middle. That's that's what you're talking about, right? The the. Yeah. Let's just uh, just first thing I could think of. Change back. There you go. Hey, Jeezy's here. What what? Did I miss something? Oh, hey, Paul, it's been a while and I'm not updated. What happened to the old stream overlay? All right, so uh, we are being sponsored by Logitech right now, uh, and we're using the uh, Logitech Mevo uh, setup. And so they are wireless cameras. Um, here, I'll show you. So like, uh, oh wait, that's, oh yeah. So this is me actually moving it around, but if we move to like this and here, they're completely wireless cameras. Okay, and uh, it runs off of not a PC, but an iPad or a phone. I'm using an iPad. Okay, and so uh, they have asked me to stream with this system. Uh, and since you don't go through OBS, you don't have the stream overlays or anything like that. They're working on improving all of that stuff, but this is a fairly new system for them. And so they asked me if I'd be interested in uh, kind of showing how it all works and all that stuff. And so we've been doing it, we're, this is week six, week five or six, I think it's week six um, of us using this system. And so uh, it's really interesting. I mean, you can bounce between, I've got different setups now. So we've got, that's top view, we've got the front view, um, but I can actually take it with, when the heck did we get sponsored by Logitech? That's right, we, it's always royal we, dude. It's the stream, the stream. I don't stream for me, I stream for you. We, all of us. I got sponsored by Logitech. <laughs> oh, wrong kind of queen. Uh, that's right. Um, so yeah, that's so they basically they supplied me with the uh, equipment, and so we've been using it. That's right. Own it, own it, ho. That's right. Spill the tea. Uh, so yeah, so we've been using it. It's really nice. I gotta say, because I can take it, I can, I can take you on a tour with my camera. And uh, they come with uh, microphone attachments. Uh, they each have their own microphone. So it's basically, you don't even need to have a computer anymore to stream. You can literally just use the cameras. And as long as you've got an, a phone that has connectivity, and it even does like uh, 4G and 5G, if you've got just cell connection, 
it will stream through that. And it's a three camera system. Um, it's got transitions. We can add like screens and stuff. We can, you know, pop those on and stuff. We've got these nice little overlays, all that kind of stuff. So should be an Ollie cam, but he's sleeping. So that's not gonna work so much. So we've got all these things that we can add to it as well. So it's, it's not bad. It's just missing some integration. It doesn't have picture in picture. Oh, so you can stream things uh, out into craft stores. I could, yes, yes. If, uh, if I lived in a state that had connectivity between here and the, uh, the store. But yes, I could actually like put you on my, uh, when can we expect to get our Mevo cameras? Uh, it's in the mail. <laughs> The only problem, no picture in picture and no animated images. Right. And no Streamlabs or, um, yeah, Streamlabs, no Streamlabs overlays or anything like that. And so, like, announcements like uh, subs and uh, biddies and follows, all of that, it, instead of coming on the screen like it normally would, uh, we're stuck with uh, just seeing it in the, in the chat. So, uh, when can we expect our residuals? Uh, now, now. You are paid with exposure every week, guys. Uh, I, I've been explaining it to you for I don't know how long. We're all getting exposure. That's right. It's uh, it's all about... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all about exposure. I pay in exposure. One trillion exposures. That's right, see? Mooncloud knows. Oh, she found my tool. Cleaning leaf on my tool. Hold on, I'm going to go grab that. <laughs> Big green thing. That. Thank you. Cat took it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exposing myself. I'm just making, we're just paying an exposure. We do it on the side. <laughs> uh, bears can run between 30 and 35 miles per hour, depending on the species. You can run at 8, maybe 12, unless you're an athlete, which means you can run at 17. Ah, you know what else? Uh, you can, uh, people think that they can escape bears by climbing, and bears can climb trees really, really well. <laughs> I've exposed my dickle. I have. I've shown everybody on the stream my dickle. That curve drives people crazy. <laughs> Would you guys like to see my dickle again? This, this, Paul, this is why you're not partner. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was gonna, it's an impressive dickle, it is, uh, but I found out it was too dark uh, for Trek. Trek couldn't handle my dark dickle, so. Um, Apparently he only only uh, ventures into the light dickles. So, but check it out. I mean, it's got a wicked curve to the to the right there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty pretty nice dickle if you ask me. So, uh, it's from Tennessee, George Dickel, apparently. But it's got a nice handle on it, you know, whatnot. So, yeah, but it's too dark. Yeah, he doesn't like him to be this dark brown. <laughs> hey. My wife loves my dickle, okay? Uh, she won't stop talking about it. The other day, I caught her fondling it, and I'm like, hey, not without permission. The <laughs> twerking <and> pickle. <laughs> That's my signature move. <laughs> Is it <laughs> like? Hmm. <laughs> Inappropriate. Talk about paying with exposure. Uh, <laughs> that 
boy ain't right. That's right. It, isn't it cute? Just sitting there sleeping. Trying to get the second set of ears. All strapped up in leather, that's right. Save your dickle for your OnlyFans page, that's right. <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans. And it's funny for me to see other artists who are like, oh yeah, I've got an OnlyFans page. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, uh, we raided, we raided her yesterday and she's like, oh yeah, am I, I gotta get this stuff ready for my OnlyFans. And we're like, wait a minute, what? She's like, yeah, her OnlyFan is, uh, she does patterns and stuff. I don't, I don't. Do not Google for nipple guy on OnlyFans, you will not find me there. No. I'm like, I can't see. I should wear my sexy spexies. I'm like, Paul, you're wearing the sexy spexies. Why don't you put them down so you can actually see? For Nepal. That's right. For nipples. Don't don't look that one up. They provide a platform for creators to create and distribute valuable premium content they can't get anywhere else. It's just that sex workers and similar gravitated to it as they don't get censored like so many other streaming sites would, hence the reputation of it. Gotcha. Oh, are you using cosplay? Yeah, uh, it's all cosplay. Yeah, I kind of gave... <laughs> we had a little bit of a falling out, me and Sculpey. It's not really a falling out. They just... They pushed the wrong button. Uh, and... Uh, I, I just kind of kind of quit. And and the, the way that the cosplay uh, behaves is just so much better. Uh... They didn't pay, and they demanded demanded too much, and they got. Then, then they they didn't pay. They demanded too much, and then when I provided what they wanted, they said, "No, not good enough. Do it again." And I'm like, "Ah, yeah, I gotta quit." I feel like maybe after they fat shame circumference, it was all downhill. <laughs> That really irritated me, because I love Circumference. I thought he turned out really well, and they're like, that's not what we were asking for. We wanted some muscly dude. I'm like, eh. So I made it a point to do more... Uh, 
I don't even know what the appropriate, appropriate term is, but people of different sizes. <laughs> so, like... Oh well. They are also really unrealistic with what they wanted, so not not terribly it's fine. Plus the material like I can't I can't make this kind of sculpture using Sculpey. They just don't have um, the the flexibility that you need. Now is cosplay perfect? Nope. Uh, does it serve a does it serve the purpose how I want it to be used? Yeah, it's fine. It's got its issues, but Scopey, dance, monkey, dance. Oh, no, there was poo runs off. They only somehow... They also somehow sent you bad clay directly from the factory twice. Correct. It's actually three times, but... Body forward, is that what it's called? Or body positive. Oh, seeing uh, Kinky Boots yesterday. My wife has just got it down to a science on making people of different body shapes look awesome. Like... Um, like she had this guy who is he's basically built like a sphere okay and she had him and most people would just be like they just drape him in a ton of fabric and my wife she had him in a suit and he's supposed to look like a professional you know and, and he he looked so like good because he had his pants at the right height and he was wearing suspenders instead of a belt and it just the looks the look on him I was like damn such a good job. And then she had women of all different shapes and sizes, and every single one of them looked great. I was like, she she's really got her she, she knows what the she knows what the hell she's doing. She's just, just yeah. I was really impressed. And not just because she's my wife. I mean, that, that doesn't hurt, but uh, no, she's she just really knows what the hell she's doing. Well, that didn't work at all, Paul. Ray Liotta died? What? Where did he die from? I need to tell her. I don't wear dresses and skirts because it just don't fit me right. Uh, yeah, she probably could. Ray Liotta, huh? Like Goodfellas, Ray Liotta? Died in his sleep. No shit. Wow. Uh-oh. Who's the next two? <laughs> 67's not that old. My parents are in their 70s. That's... Wow. It's gonna be De Niro watch, something like that. Anything that spring. Spring Fox. Sure. 
Should the top ears be a little bit uh, bigger, like the, the forehead ears? Super cute. I kind of like it. I don't want to be like too crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna go with that. Okay. Um, now I gotta bake it. Um, let's see if we can create a cradle. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Do it like that. So let me go bake him real quick. No, I'm sorry. I was just creating a little cradle out of shitty clay, just to so he doesn't fall over. I should probably double check, make sure that he'll still fit. So it went like that. Just like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go bake it. Donkey. There's a donkey in the oven. You know, that's where I keep my donkeys. <laughs> Nothing like finding a donkey in your oven, you know what I mean? Hey, oh. Oven your ass, Paul. That's right. There we go. Interesting. Got a little wonkity on the neck there. I didn't realize that. Alright. Alright. Now. Uh, 45 minutes. 